Imagine a world where the most wanted man on the planet, Osama bin Laden, stands before the camera, claiming responsibility for the 9-11 attacks in a tape released by Al Jazeera. The chilling orchestration of this recording seeks to present Bin Laden as a legitimate figure addressing the nation he attacked, offering a haunting reminder of the elusive nature of this notorious figure. As suspenseful music plays and the wind blows, we delve into the covert operations at the CIA headquarters, where a special unit determined to locate Bin Laden faces frustration as every lead goes cold. This is the riveting backdrop to a story that unfolds like a high-stakes thriller, exploring the intricacies of the pursuit that shaped modern history. Today, we embark on a journey through the labyrinthine pursuit of Osama bin Laden, the mastermind behind the 9-11 attacks that shook the world. In this gripping narrative, we unravel the layers of intrigue, missed opportunities, and covert operations that mark the quest to apprehend one of the most elusive figures in recent history. Osama bin Laden was a Saudi Arabian-born militant and the mastermind behind the infamous September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks on the United States. Born on March 10, 1957, into a wealthy and influential family in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Bin Laden was the 17th of 52 children. Bin Laden's early life was marked by privilege and education. He studied economics and business administration at King Abdulaziz University in Jeddah. His worldview, however, took a radical turn in the 1980s when he joined the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, fighting against the Soviet invasion. The experience fueled his anti-Western sentiments and laid the groundwork for the formation of Al-Qaeda. In 1988, Osama bin Laden founded Al-Qaeda, which means the base in Arabic. Al-Qaeda aimed to establish an Islamic state based on its interpretation of Sharia law and to resist what bin Laden perceived as the corrupting influence of Western culture and military presence in Muslim countries. Bin Laden's notoriety reached global proportions after the 9-11 attacks, where 19 terrorists affiliated with Al-Qaeda hijacked four commercial airplanes. Two of these planes were flown into the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, causing their collapse. Another plane hit the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, while the fourth crashed in a Pennsylvania field after passengers thwarted the hijackers. The attacks resulted in the deaths of nearly 3,000 people and triggered widespread shock and outrage worldwide. In the aftermath, the United States, under President George W. Bush, declared a global war on terror and initiated military interventions in Afghanistan and Iraq. Osama bin Laden, however, managed to evade capture for nearly a decade. He became a symbol of international terrorism and the focus of an extensive manhunt. Bin Laden's ability to elude authorities heightened the mystique surrounding him, and his influence persisted through audio and video messages released periodically. The turning point in the hunt for Bin Laden came on May 2, 2011, when USC. Navy SEAL Team 6 conducted a covert operation code named Operation Neptune Spear in Abbottabad, Pakistan. The team successfully located and killed bin Laden at his compound, ending a chapter that had defined global counterterrorism efforts for years. The death of Osama bin Laden had far-reaching implications for the geopolitical landscape and the ongoing fight against terrorism. It symbolized a significant victory for the United States and its allies but the repercussions of his legacy continued to shape international relations and security policies for years to come. The CIA's determination. Responding to the global outcry for justice, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, became a pivotal force in the pursuit of bin Laden. Following President George W. 
Bush's declaration of a global war on terror, the CIA mobilized its resources, leveraging its expertise in covert operations and intelligence gathering to locate the elusive terrorist leader. Intelligence gathering? Central to the CIA's efforts was the meticulous gathering of intelligence. Utilizing a range of methods, including satellite imagery, intercepted communications, and information from informants on the ground, the agency pieced together a complex puzzle. This exhaustive intelligence work was essential in narrowing down the possible locations of Osama bin Laden. The Breakthrough After years of relentless pursuit, a breakthrough finally came. Intelligence pointed to a compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan, where Bin Laden was believed to be hiding. This revelation marked a turning point, necessitating careful analysis and confirmation before any action could be taken. The tension was palpable as the world awaited the outcome of this high-stakes operation. Operation Neptune Spear On May 1, 2011, a decade after the 9-11 attacks, the United States initiated Operation Neptune Spear. Navy SEAL Team 6, a highly trained special operations unit, was tasked with infiltrating the compound and capturing or eliminating Osama bin Laden. The operation, shrouded in secrecy, unfolded under the cover of darkness with the SEALs equipped with cutting-edge technology and intelligence. The Capture in the early hours of May 2, 2011, the SEALs stormed Bin Laden's compound. After a fierce firefight, the team reached the third floor, where they confronted and eliminated the elusive mastermind behind 9-11. President Barack Obama addressed the nation, announcing the success of the operation and the death of Osama Bin Laden bringing a sense of closure to a chapter that had haunted the world for a decade. Legacy and Impact The death of Osama bin Laden had a profound impact on global geopolitics and the ongoing fight against terrorism. While symbolic, it raised questions about the future of al-Qaeda and the broader war on terror. The hunt for bin Laden revealed the complexities of modern warfare, intelligence gathering, and the challenges in combating global terrorism. The world continues to grapple with the aftermath of that fateful day and the ongoing repercussions of the war on terror. Death. On May 2, 2011, a covert operation unfolded in the city of Abbottabad, Pakistan, that would change the course of history. Mu S. Navy SEAL Team 6. A highly skilled special operations unit conducted a daring raid on a compound where intelligence suggested Osama bin Laden was hiding. This is what the, the compound was a secure and fortified structure, raising suspicions about the identity of its occupants. Under the cover of darkness, the SEALs descended upon the compound, facing a series of challenges and uncertainties. The operation codenamed Operation Neptune Spear, aimed to either capture or eliminate the elusive Al-Qaeda leader responsible for orchestrating the September 11, 2001 attacks. The SEALs encountered hours. resistance during the raid, engaging in a firefight as they moved through the compound. Eventually, the they reached the third floor, no one... where they found and confronted Osama bin Laden. In the ensuing encounter, Bin Laden was shot and killed. The operation unfolded swiftly, leaving little room for the occupants of the compound to mount a defense. The success of Operation Neptune Spear was a result of meticulous planning, intelligence gathering, and the extraordinary skill of the SEAL team. The operation demonstrated the United States' commitment to pursuing those responsible for acts of terrorism against the nation and its allies. Following bin Laden's death, his body was handled in accordance with Islamic traditions. To avoid creating a physical memorial or shrine for his supporters, and due to the lack of a suitable location for burial on land, 
Bin Laden's body was transported to the aircraft carrier U.S. Carl Vinson in the North Arabian Sea. There, the body was prepared for burial in accordance with Islamic customs and placed in a weighted bag before being lowered into the sea. The decision to bury Bin Laden at sea was made to ensure that his final resting place would not become a focal point for his followers or a site for extremist commemorations. It also aligned with the U.S. Government's desire to handle the situation respectfully and in accordance with cultural and religious considerations. The death of Osama bin Laden marked a significant milestone in the global war on terror and brought a degree of closure to the victims and their families affected by the 9-11 attacks. The success of Operation Neptune Spear underscored the effectiveness of intelligence operations and special forces capabilities in combating high-profile threats to international security. In conclusion, the gripping story of how the CIA found Osama bin Laden encapsulates a tale of determination, intelligence, and a daring operation that changed the course of history. The hunt for Bin Laden exposed the intricacies of modern counterterrorism efforts, leaving a lasting impact on global security. If you found this exploration informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content on significant moments in our world's history. Thank you for joining us in uncovering this pivotal chapter, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.